Okay, well, you want me to go first? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, the last, um, well, it's day nine now. It's day, day eight, nine. Day, eight, day yeah. nine. Um, I've been having a 30 minute conversation every day, except for one day. I watch animate. <laughs> 30 minute <laughs> conversation every day. And um, remember, so at first I thought, uh, well, basically what I did was every day I just worked on, um, oh, the first three days, no, four days, I work on one structure. The structure is okay. Toina. Toina is I hope. Toina. Toina. Okay. It's I didn't I know if I go Toine, is I hope you. Like. Toina. Hi. Toina. So Toina. basically, you know, I know you said you do like, you know, one a day, but, you know, if you just have one structure, you can do so much stuff with just one structure. There's so many variables. So many variation to do it. At first, I was just saying, I hope. Okay, how do you say you hope? And then, and then we start using it, put it in different things. So, so basically, what I realized is that I'm just going to work on one right. or like three, four days in a row. Because after the first day, the next day I forgot already. Okay, yeah. Not, yeah, until, yeah, yeah. not until the second or third day, uh, third, probably uh -huh. the third and fourth day when I remember, ah, toina is I hope, toina is, you know, I hope for you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. um and then now I'm I'm also basically I was just like uh, uh and then I was just talking to um Yuri and then and then and then she's like I was like, Good morning, how are you? It's like, Oh yeah, I woke up early for you. Oh, how do you say for you? Ah, okay, great. So let's make sentence about for you. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's just it's great, you know, and um most of my conversations are all in Japanese. But if it's slow, mm. it, after they type it out, it's always easy to understand it, and and it's, yeah. it's still like a warm up still. But but I, mm -hmm. I like I like how we're doing it right now. Thirty minutes, um, maybe two structure a week. Just keep practicing it. Alrighty. And trying with different tutors, and then of course different tutors will tell you a different thing, as you said in your your previous. Yeah, day. absolutely. There's different nuances. And exactly. there's different like street version of it, or this yeah. is how I would say it, or you could say that, but it's not natural, so I would say it this way, this is yeah. different. And and, and different and different teacher would like, you know, use different examples, right? Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was like I, I was like um I was talking to Masa so I, was, I, I was talking I was talking to Masa, right? Okay. And I was making sentence like, you know, I hope that um, uh, Kevin and uh, Kevin and you can be uh, can be boy Kevin can be your boyfriend. <laughs> 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 oh, you went to you went to you went to Tokyo for Kevin. <laughs> no, she went for her daughter. Actually, <laughs> oh, I will just you know we're making sentences like you know having fun, you yeah, know having yeah. a good time. <laughs> Totally. It, it certainly makes like the the session fun yeah. to play, and and, yeah. and, mm. and it's exactly what I want to say. The playfulness, like exactly what I want to, what I would say if I talk to her. Like, oh, how was meeting? Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and if I, I hope and if you I, have fun. Like, you end up having like ongoing jokes with different tutors. Yeah, yeah, and it, and, and it just creates, you know. Like an ongoing uh, story, a saga, and then you know you learn another grammar point, and you go, "Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this," and you don't forget it because yeah. you're like, <laughs> "I'm gonna spring this little baby on her." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's really, really funny. And then like, I mean, I guess I'll just tell you. <laughs> and then Mazda was like, "Well, if Kevin, if I hope that Kevin don't this." I hope that Kevin don't do this, and I have Kevin don't do this. I think he's smoking. Like, I don't know. He said you, he yeah, said you didn't smoke much. Bit, right. uh, and then just and then just random stuff just for fun. And I'm like, oh, if Moshi, you know, like if Kevin don't do this and don't do this, chance to arimasu ka? Sorry, I just we're just making we just we just practicing having a good time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah.
Yeah, so that's <laughs> what happened with my week. So that's what happened last that's, week. So what's been happening with my week? Well, I've done, I don't know how many uh, Japanese conversations. I've kind of lost count. I, by rights, I've probably done nine. But then, like today, I had a half an hour conversation with a language partner in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then I had two hours of Japanese from one till three yeah. at the uh, language exchange in Chiba. Yeah. Tomorrow, I've got a, a lesson in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, and I've been having, uh, I must have had about six or seven I talk high. Okay, so sessions. what did you get? I want to know what you learned. I don't care what you did. I think oh. that's quite more... more. <laughs> don't care what I... <laughs> <laughs> My brother, right? Okay, so I've been, I've been uh, taking the approach that I um, started with, which is one grammar point a day. I, I, I mean, right like... Step. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, what you right. learned... What, you're not telling... Are you going to teach me a grammar point? Or I, I want to know like what you discover in terms of la language learning, because not everybody listening to this will be learning Japanese, right? Right, for sure. Okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, my one grammar point a day seems to be going well, but I do forget. Mm -hmm. um, but the funny thing is, is like the grammar point that I get the most mileage out is the one that I don't forget. Uh, do you know what? Like, if I forget it, like... It can't have been that important. Mm. Yes. You know, so I don't beat myself up about it. Got it. I kind of, and 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 I started reviewing, and I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, and I can almost like now see why that's the one that I forgot, and these are the ones that I'm remembering. Yeah. Because I can make so much use. Got it. And extend my conversation yeah. in so many different ways. Yeah. You know. Got it. So you remember <laughs> the ones that you use, and you don't remember. That you the one that you don't use and that's okay yeah cool and, and awesome so sort of like at the end of my uh working day one of the japanese staff is now checking my the sentences nice. that i've made nice. each day and she also says oh yeah you know technically that's correct but no one ever says that clear and then she she'll write a natural way of yeah. saying it perfect um and then in my I talk I session, I'll clarify why is it that this is natural, mm. and I'll learn something about the language that I didn't know before. Mm. Like cool. uh, last night, I learned that um, uh, one grammar point um, that I'd been corrected on using in, instead of uh, noni, using uh, uh, tameni. Tameni. Uh, yeah, and um, the difference being that if you use if you're doing something by your own hand, then yeah. use tamani, and if you're and if it's uh, being used sort of like in the third person or like if you're riding the train, you're not actually pushing the train, yeah. and you're not doing yeah. something with your hand to yeah. move the train. So you would use tamani rather than noni. I see. Ah, okay. so there's. Like, so basically, it's kind of like I'm learning stuff, then I'm learning more about it by being corrected yeah. like, in my naivety. And then in the I Talk I session, I'll dig into that to try and understand it. What, why is it different? Cool. That. So I see, you, like, so, making, I see you making sentences. Oh, man, yeah. Which is cool. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're, uh, so you're talking. Basically, you're t you're basically, you make sentences. You find out a structure. You make sentences. Yep. Um, yep. And you say it in the I talk I session, or you have somebody correct it. For for yep. people who don't any, have anybody correct, we can also post it on I talk I or link, link, link yep. or something like that. Somebody look at it. Yeah. And then and then practice it in speaking it. Yeah, and there's so many ways uh, out there that you can get your language checked by a native. Yeah. And get feedback. Yeah. And. So, like, in, in some ways, I was, like, originally, I think, uh, maybe a year ago, I'd have been kind of, like, uh, um, I'd lose my mojo over it. I'd be, oh, God, yeah, I can't get this right. I'm useless or, or, or whatever. But now, it's, like, <laughs> don't worry about it. Like, people will understand me, even if I'm technically incorrect. Yeah. But whatever they're correcting me with, they're like adding something yeah. to my understanding of the language. Exactly, You're progressing. So it's like, hey man, mistakes are progress. Cool. Yeah. So, so I've had a lot of 
Yeah. Lot, I mean, like my conversation rate has gone up probably by a, a factor of ten since I began the challenge. Like that's what it's all about. Um, even and, and the funny thing is, is that um, do you remember I was saying that yeah, my my conversations uh, in the combini or or wherever they'd always be the same. Yeah, but well, they're not anymore. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because oh, I'll talk to the girl at the uh, combini like tonight. I went to the convenience store and uh, bought some supplies, and I was telling her about how much Japanese I've been learning and <laughs> kind of like having a conversation yeah. about that. You know, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just going from strength to strength, and I think, whoa, man, you know, like I'm, I, I'm still making lots of mistakes. Um, and then, yeah, tonight, ah, oh, man, another thing happened today. You know, it's like one thing leads to another, and then before you know it, you're like, <laughs> look at how much I'm doing. Um, yeah, when I went along to the language exchange place. Um, They've given me a form to fill out to do like uh, um, it's like uh, evenings with a Japanese family. So yeah. you go along and have a meal and um, like talk Japanese <laughs> with a Japanese family yeah. and that. And the people who like uh, maybe do homestays with foreign students visiting yeah. the country or whatever, but they kind of like get to practice out hosting yeah. Yeah. like a foreigner yes. in, in their home. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that and uh, like oh, cool. that'll be fun. Good way to kind of practice Japanese, um, tell a few jokes, <laughs> um, huh. and, and learn that culture as well. So, so you're learning. I mean, you, it's a little bit easier than you for you because you're in Japan. But I think there are also no matter where you are, there are always ways to actually find people to practice in offline. Well, that's it. You know, I, I've been saying that I spoke more Japanese outside of Japan. Mm. Yeah, till I started this challenge. Now I'm like uh, doing as much Japanese speaking as I was in England. Awesome, man! How did? But, how did yeah, Contracts. but yeah. with the added kind of like, oh, this is so cool because now I get to like put it into practice and and do things that I couldn't do in England. So ah, yeah, okay. yeah there's that aspect of it. Got but it. I, I I still very much believe that. Um, in, in many ways, it's better to learn a language outside of the country because you don't get distracted by, hey, there's so much to see here, there's yeah. so much to do here, yeah. and like you, you want to just go and do it rather yeah. than sitting, studying. To learn, yeah, so it's always a good idea to study, learn the language before you go to the country. Yeah, One of the and I cer certainly say that like, by arriving in the country ready to actually use that language, you immediately like get a real buzz and yeah. what you can do. What you put in before yeah. and yeah. You, you actually could use it right away. You know, in the last Ad One Challenge, one interesting way that um, uh, one of the Ad One Challenger came up with um, practicing their language in their native, in, in their country, is that go, if you are living in, in, a, in a tourist destination, you go on, a, if you're learning French, you go on a French tour group. You're learning Amazing. German, you go on a German tour group. Right? <laughs> I like it. This way you can hear it, you can, hopefully you have some background of already, and, and then you can also practice with those people right there, you know, they're, they're all That's native. Right? Yeah, How cool like is that? that. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, awesome add one challenge. Yeah. You know, this, we're coming up with all these new ideas to learn and practice our language, it's really cool. Okay, let's talk about next week. Yeah, okay, so next week, um, for me, um, Tomorrow morning, I'm in Tokyo doing cool. a Japanese class. Yeah, that'll that'll be doing it. I'm still doing my memorize in the morning. Okay. Memorize in the morning. Um, uh, so other than yeah, I've got another face to face uh, couple of hours this on every Tuesday uh, for forever. Um, <laughs> well, for you know, cool. I, I've signed up for a year, but yeah. Um, like at least for the next 12 weeks, um, I'll be doing that. Um, again, I filled every slot uh, where I'm not doing face to face with one or two uh, half hour I talk guys a yeah. day. Yeah. Um, and I'll continue doing my uh, one grammar point. And I do know what you mean about 
like you get so much mileage out of one single grammar point that there is a certain part of me that goes, you're right, Brian. Actually, the ones that I can get the most mileage out of yeah. concentrate on those. Sort of, but yeah. like, I don't realise whether it's not going to be useful for me until it's I a couple see. of days later, then right. I forget it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'll just keep plowing on. Just keep plowing on then, you mean? Yeah, for me, I'm just going to pick the grammar point in like a normal conversation or like, you know, what, like, for example, today I learned, I want to say, I must do this. You know, how do you form, I must do this? Because uh, I want to say, I must do this today. I must go to do Thai boxing today. So I just basically start practicing. Yeah, so for the next week, uh, what I'll do is continue to practice the, the grammar point that's useful for me that I want to say and just yeah. using different tutors to practice them and keep making new sentences. Yeah, from, from you're so tutors. right. I mean, you do get so many different examples, um, different angles yeah. from other angles so, from different people. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm pretty much, well, I'm doing the same. In, in some ways, it's like my one grammar point I'll, I'll do for 10, 15 minutes but then the, the other 15 minutes, I'll dip into ones that have kind of like uh, stacked up over the week. Yeah, yeah, like you combine them and like, you know, like... And I, exactly, <laughs> like I've been combining two Ooh. grammar points into one really long yeah. sentence out something. You yeah, know? so there's a lot you can do just with like a few, really. Yeah, like if I learned it this week, um, I think I learned instead of. Yeah. Um, Kawarini. Why are you instead of? Ooh. <laughs> Check that later. Look it up later. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, yeah, and I also learned uh, Stomarida, so intended to. Um, and I learned, um, oh, we, we learned decided, didn't we? Koto ni suru, koto ni shimashu. Uh, and, and so, sort of like, when I, when I learned instead of, which I dearly hope is Kawari Ni, but never mind if it isn't, then I'll learn something by the embarrassment of watching a video where I get something wrong. Um, but yeah, I combined that so that it was like, yeah. instead of going to Tokyo, I decided, I decided to do this, to do this. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's fun that you can have putting that together, you know. So you want to wrap up your experience of the first week? Yeah, awesome, man. <laughs> I mean, there's a summary for you. It's Are you really glad? Are you glad that you joined Animal Challenge, Kevin, again? For the fifth time? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's killing me, Brian. It's killing me. No, it's killing me in a good way because I actually feel like I'm making great work. Awesome. You know? Cool. It was worth doing for that. Cool. Yeah, it's, fine. For me, it's also good to, to start learning Japanese again because it's mm. really fun. It's really fun. And 30 minutes is. It, there's, if I'm using 30 minutes to actually um, melting my brain to make sentences, it's not too much, and it's not too yeah. little, and 30 minutes, I talk, I session, bam, done for the day, check, yeah, mm. small win. Yeah. yeah, I used to do hour long, um, now I'm doing half an hour, yeah. but my, my uh, I feel like I'm doing almost the same amount of Japanese, um, and some days, like, I think twice now, three times maybe I've had uh, kind of like surprise uh, like Japanese friends or something uh, sort of like just say hey I'm online I've got half an hour to kill do you want to oh, perfect. speak Japanese I'm like we'll do it yeah cool or, or whatever so you know I'm sort of like I think today in total it's like two and a half hours it means that's five days of half an hour time to really. that's why you time <laughs> yeah. is two today all right, man. So cool, man. Good seeing you. We'll talk. We'll see you again next week. Okay. Take All care, right, man. Brian. Take care, man. Well, see ya. I'll speak to you soon. See ya. Bye.